in the raw. This is J.R. Rodriguez from the Canada Financial Insurance Agency, LLC. We're going to be talking about um, your upline, how he or she or the entity can help you. Now, you got to look at your upline. I don't want you to blame your upline, but what I want you to do is to look at where where that your upline may be at. Now, what I can tell you is where was I at and where I'm at now. I'm not here to judge your upline, but I'm here to let you know of some really important things that agents don't think about so that this way they could be aligned with us. Now, if you do have another upline, please consider joining us. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to start with a cliche of a quote. Is your upline on a cutting edge or on a bleeding edge? You see, when uplines are at a certain point of their lives or careers, it could be an IMO as an upline, okay? It could be an MA, it could be a BGA, it could be your uh, a salary em employee manager. But when they're, when, when they're at a certain point, they think to themselves, well, man, you know, I, want, I really want to help people. This is my life dream. This is what I'm here for. This is what I was born to do. But then they may have a certain pink letter in the, the, in the mail. Now, we all can have pink letters at some point of our lives. Overdue gas bill, utilities. But when it comes to taxes... You don't want to mess with that. So your upline can be at that point. Now, maybe, maybe not. But what I do want you to realize is that your upline's greatest, greatest problems are also your problems. That's more on the negative side. But let's talk about the positive side. Your your upline's most biggest achievements can be your biggest achievement too. If your upline's not calling you, do me a favor and call him. You determine where you want to be at at your point of your career. But if you've been at an agency for a long time, and you're not making over $50,000 a year, then do something about it. Now, if you want to start making $100,000 plus a year, and you already know you reached the cap, you I, I don't want you to blame your, your, your uplines, okay? Number one. But like I said, your uplines problems are your problems. I go out. And I meet agents every day. I call people. Agents. Agents want me to call them back. They reach out and they want us to, to give them a call. To get them contracted. Get them started. Now, <clears throat> I do want to let you know that when... I'm going to give you a little story of this, this individual we met. And in no means am I wanting to talk negative about the income. The income this person is making is between fifty and sixty thousand a year. It may really mean they're making forty. So the way that I look at it is uh, that's pretty sad. Now this person is, looks like a a normal person. He has kids. He's married. He owns a house. And the way that I look at it is he's, it's pretty sad. Now. He may be happy because he's complacent. What I want you to, 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 to see is that it may seem like I'm judging, but I'm not. I talk to so many agents a day, and I'm comparing not just those agents, but myself. So that may seem like I'm judging, right? But you know what? It's just a natural law of order. That's where we're at. When I looked at this individual agent that makes between fifty and sixty thousand a year, I looked at a good person. I looked at the caps 
that this person has already reached. And that's what we were talking about. So therefore, I am judging appropriately. And that's why I'm talking to you. So now, the other agents that I talked to, I talked to three to four days before that. I talked to a young 25-year-old cocky as can be. Oh my God, this person was cocky. But you know what? He admitted it. He made $27,000 in production his first month. In business with life insurance. Yes. But beside him was his upline. We were sitting down together. This cocky individual, his upline, a little older than him, the president of the Canon Financial Insurance Agency, and myself. We were just sitting there having a conversation. Now, his upline, because we are talking about uplines, he made in sales $90,000 in the last three months. Do you see where I'm getting at? This cocky individual was emulating, copying his upline. Obviously, they reached some sort of cap, and that's why they're coming to us. I've seen the potential errors that may happen in the future. I would say that will happen. It may happen. Um, and the reason why I believe that we're so valuable is that, well, we can help it continue. Why? Well, I was looking at the demographics of their uh, surrounding areas. I was looking um, at the ge geography of where they're located. And uh, I understand as a traveling salesman at some point of our lives, my, uh, me and my wife as a business partner, we, we were traveling salespeople. So we know what it takes to continue this type of production. And what I can tell you is that we are the right people. Now, do we have problems? Yes. But those are something that you won't see. We have lives. We have we have a little bit of problems. But that's something that we handle on a day-to-day. -day. What kind of problems? Hey, they're, they're everybody. Everybody has a problem in life. We can't cut that out of the system. So you got to look at that. Now, we're going to talk about another agent that called me yesterday. This agent, he was, he's, he's brand new. Well, actually, he's been in the business maybe six, seven years. Nobody has reached out to this gentleman to correct his ways. We don't mean to get into your business and slap you into going our direction. What we do is... We focus on what you should be doing and can handle what type of business you can handle. We comprehend the intricacies of products and marketing strategies so that this way we can put you in a situation where it would be comfortable for you for this agent so that this way you could make money and do not cause havoc to your family. Make money now. Write some premium regardless of the draft date, 30 days from now, get paid next week. This is our goal for this gentleman. This gentleman has not reached out to us for four months. We contract him about three months, three months ago, four months ago. There has been no, no phone calls from me to him other than just touch and go on contracting. But this person reached out to me yesterday and he says, hey, I've been listening to your YouTubes, everything that you have. I'm not stalking, to you, stalking you, but he tells me, I really like everything that you say and I don't want you to forget about me. What did I say in the beginning, guys? Call your uplines. Don't blame them. Don't blame them at all. Now, if they're the type of agents that are way too busy for you, then seek elsewhere. I'm going to tell you this. We're very busy. 
but we will handle the person that is ready. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear and will make room. Our goal is to teach agents. We spend a lot of time with our agents when they're ready, but at a certain point, we're like angels. Hey, you know what? We are pointing in the right direction. You have our number. We're going to keep in contact. You're, you're, that person, we turn them into a preferred agent. We turn them into a superstar, and we give them the tools. Do they need to spend and hold our hands? No, they don't. Spend time with us 100%? No, they don't. So this releases time so we could spend with the other agents. So we are constantly looking for agents to help out. We have products such as Final Expense and this gentleman that I'm talking to you about that reached out to me from a different state. Uh, there's many states in between us. But he reached out to me. There's no excuse. He, when he first, the, well, actually, yesterday, when he talked to me, he didn't say, you're too far away from me, JR. He didn't say that. He says, I'm excited. Don't forget about me. This is the position where I'm at. A week from now, two weeks from now, I'm going to be able to be free from what I'm doing. And I've been listening to your audio books, to to your audio clips, to your to your analogs, to your YouTubes, to your Facebooks, uh, uh, videos, and I'm going to be ready. How are you going to help me, Mr. Jr.? So we quickly took a filter at that point, asked him a series of questions, and then this way we removed the clutter from him. Uh, the understanding of financial services so that this way he could see and be prepared of where he's going. So now I'm ready to send him a manual, a script, but he's free from clutter because he understands now what he needs to do so that this way he could be ready. This person's name is Brett. Now, as he was talking to me, we were waiting for another agent to arrive. We were sitting in a Starbucks. Across from us was two agents. They were from PHP, brand new. We are here to nurture. We are here to help. We didn't intervene. We didn't mock at them. We didn't make fun of them. We didn't do anything. We let them be. As, and I mentioned that for the reason that I say, let everybody have an opportunity. I am aggressive, but we've already been there, done that. That's why I mentioned this, because I want to let you know that your agent's problems are your problems. We don't intervene in that. Now, our agent arrives, and this is pretty much his second day out on the field. His first day out on the field on, on his own, he made a sell on the very first door that opened to him. Actually, the very first door that he knocked on. He came to us and sat down, very excited. This person is a person that we filtered and removed all the clutter so he could understand. Previous to that, he was with an agency called VFG. Or let's just put it this way, VVFG. You put it together. Um... This person didn't know what he was doing. Did we go and steal this person? No. This person walked up to us at an event that we were at. This is how we met him. We introduced ourselves. He tells us he's just got licensed. We were at an event. We're a life insurance agency. He seen the banner. He talked to us a little bit. The very second day that we met him, we took him out on field sales. This person made $3,200 that day. We took him out on the field the, the, the following day. Okay, one-on-one -on -one training. He made another two sales that day. He made about $800. So his very first week, he's already close to $4,000 in income. I'm going to go back to that very first subject I was talking about. That person that 
was telling us that agent that he makes forty to fifty thousand dollars. Now, can you see the mindset? Can you see the caps of this first agent? Let me explain to you a little bit more of this first agent. Well, he works for an agency. We, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about that first agency, that first agent. Okay. I'm going to leave this one to the side, and I'm going to come back to it. Now, this first agent that we talked to that makes forty to fifty thousand dollars, fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year, possibly forty. Um, well, we asked if we could talk to his agency manager. He said no. They don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to change to anything. They're with a certain company. Um, vacation wide you put it together and I said look this is how vacation wide works many many years ago they would give bonuses to the biggest producers and agency brick and mortar agencies the typical ones what they would do is they would produce and this is how they bought their buildings they don't do this anymore and maybe you should judge for yourself. Maybe that's why they don't use this company anymore. He looks at us and he says, wow, that's why they haven't been using them lately. I said, yeah, exactly. They're stuck in their old ways. Are they in the cutting edge or are they in the bleeding edge? We are not in the bleeding edge. We are in the cutting edge. We do not get stuck in the old ways. Now, we are loyal to companies. But if these companies do not change to the times, then we cannot stay with them. Now, fortunately, we as owners of, our, of the agency can change that. We, wanna, we don't like changing, though. We don't like changing from this company to that company to that company. That's what IMOs and animals always are doing. There, you sign up, and then they give you this contract and that contract and this contract. No wonder you're cluttered. No wonder you're not making the money you need to make. Let's put you in a position. We have leads, okay? We have leads. We have a system in play. Now, most agencies they give you a system, and you look at the video and you're like, wow, okay. And then analysis paralysis, paralysis happens. They make it so simple, you're excited. But what did you just look at? The comprehension isn't there. It's still cluttered. That's why we're here, everybody. We're here to help you out. We help peop We help agents make money, all right? I'm gonna come back to this agent. <clears throat> this agent, we held his hand for a week. And uh, this is the agent that I was talking about that made under $4,000 under our um, agency supervision going out on the field with him. He's on his own now. We were at Starbucks. We were sitting down. He's excited. So the, I gave you a series of, of, of our week, not our year, not ten, what happened five or ten years ago of our week. And that's just our, that's just maybe a handful of picks that I have. Like I said, I'm not here to judge, but I'm here to help agents out. We do make sales from $35 a month to $35 a day. Put that together, that's over $1,000 a month. And we, we do annual targets at 19,000. Now, we're here to help you out. We're here to, we don't wanna, throw you at what we do best and impress you with our checks and try to make you do what we do. <clears throat> we don't want to cause havoc to your family. We don't want you to be spending three months in, on a computer learning what we already know so that this way you can make the money we, we, we make with those type of products. What we want you to do is to make the, the, the money with the type of products that are easiest for you. And we've already done that. We're not going to tell you that you could do it and, and when we've never done it. So if you like what we say, give us a call. Try us out. Talk to me. The only reason that you wouldn't join is that you're lazy. The only reason that you wouldn't join is because you still are confused 
and you're a broker type and you're looking to get five or ten percent more you think you know what you're doing or you you already know what you're doing but obviously if you're calling an agency an imo an nmo a bga or any other insurance carrier you need help just admit it remove the ego remove the pride let us know that you need help we will help you we are close to the holidays and if this video remains uh the holidays will always be close we are here to help give us a call 888-604-6620 this is jr our email address is jrvpops at gmail.com look us up under decanonassociates.com Thank you very much. Have a great day.